Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Currency Buzz for this week and uh, starting with giving you a brief about what happened last week, uh, we continue to see the rupee trading in this narrow range of 69 and 70 on spot uh, for, this, for the second consecutive week. Uh, we had uh, the inflation and the IIP number that was released on the domestic front. Inflation, as as expected, has risen uh, slightly uh, in in the month of May, and at the same time, in uh, the industrial production number also was surprisingly higher at around 3.4 percent in the month of April. So, not much of a reaction as such was seen on the rupee, and uh, we we expect that now that you know the dollar is strengthening against its major crosses, uh, we could see euro pound as well as the Asian currencies coming under pressure. So rupee you know uh, could be one of uh, that and uh, we expect that on the higher side now on the spot uh, 70.05 to 70.20 is an immediate resistance zone and on the downside uh, 69.40 uh, is an immediate support to watch for uh, below that 69.20 is is the next support that we can see but overall uh, we we could you know uh, we are expecting that this week uh, the rupee could be you know trading with a slightly negative bias against the dollar in case of for the major crosses euro and pound both have been under pressure uh, surprisingly uh, pound has been you know more more under pressure as compared to the euro uh, we have seen that the uncertainty related to brexit uh, has has been uh, keeping uh, the currency under pressure and uh, overall uh, for this week as well the bias for euro and pound will be on the downside uh, on the economic calendar front uh, this week uh, not not much of a trigger as such uh, from eurozone or the uk but yes from the us we have the important fomc policy statement that will be released uh, from the uk uh, boe policy will be important to watch so both these major central bank policy statements uh, could give an important trigger uh, to the major currencies and expectation from the fed is that uh, they could maintain a status quo uh, status quo in this meeting but yes what their stance will be going ahead uh, in the future uh, will trigger a move for the greenback and yes if if the statement or if the commentary is, is dovish or if they hint towards you know a rate cut uh, in in the coming future then yes we could see uh, the dollar coming under pressure against its major crosses and that could be slightly supportive uh, for for euro and for pound but overall uh, we we you know we'll have to wait for that uh, policy statement uh, to get done uh, until then for the for the next few days uh, we might see euro and pound trading with a slightly sideways bias but post the fomc policy statement uh, we might get you know some bit of triggers uh, to to the major crosses uh, that's it uh, thank you very much